All right, I've got 49ers news from you here from the shallow waters of the Florida Keys. The 49ers have re-signed their right tackle, Colton McKivitz. This is a one-year extension. Remember, he had already been under contract for this upcoming 2024 season. So one year, seven million total for the 2025 season. McKivitz is now under contract for the next two years with the 49ers. They, his agency reported this on Twitter. They said that 65% of this is fully guaranteed. So that's 4.55 million fully guaranteed. This is not big money that we're talking about. Remember that Mike McGlinchey, who performed about the same as Colton McKivitz in terms of pass blocking efficiency this past year for Denver, he signed a deal worth $17.5 million annually with the Broncos. So McKivitz is playing right tackle at a really budget price for the 49ers. He's obviously not one of the best right tackles in the league, but that's the thing. This does not limit the 49ers option power. This does not preclude them from going out and drafting a tackle. They've got to think about both tackle positions. Trent Williams is 35 years old on the left side. Colton McKivitz, obviously somebody they can upgrade on the right side. So they've got to think about adding talent, adding high upside talent to the draft. And I'll tell you what, re-signing a bargain bin right tackle for 4.55 million guaranteed for that 2025 season, that does not prevent them from doing that. In fact, the 49ers should be doing both things. The 49ers should be out there trying to retain veteran talent at a bargain rate. And again, this is a bargain rate for Colton McKivitz and they should be thinking about stocking up on the draft. The offensive line is that important. You've got to try to refill talent through multiple avenues. And also it's not just one offensive lineman that you need to get. Even if you've uh, signed all five starting positions, you need to think about going out there and grabbing depth. I've always said it takes at least seven quality offensive linemen to win a Super Bowl because guys are going to get hurt. Colton McKivitz might be able to play guard in the future. I think that right guard is probably the 49ers' biggest need up front. That's the one that I think is most likely that they address through free agency. That's why I've talked about Robert Hunt. I know I'm in the Florida Keys right now, Robert Hunt played for the Miami Dolphins. I talked about him yesterday, 330 pounder, best pass blocking right guard in the game, according to pass blocking efficiency this past year. So they can go for Robert Hunt in free agency. They could think about flexing McKivitz down the right guard if they do draft a really high upside right tackle who's ready to play right away. The bottom line is that you want options and to have options, you've got to have bodies up front. And to get bodies up front, well, you've got to draft. 49ers have obviously drafted in the past that right tackle. McGlinchey was a 2018 pick. Aaron Banks in 2021, a second rounder. McKivitz was a fifth rounder in 2020. But you can either get guys to the draft or you can re-sign your own after you've drafted them. And you've got to make sure that, you know, it can't just be eight all pros. You've got to make sure that you retain some of those depth pieces. And maybe in the future, McKivitz is lineman number six, lineman number seven for the 49ers. That'd be the hope. You've got to keep the pipeline open. So that's what today's move means for the 49ers. They are opening up the faucet. They're pouring in resources into that offensive line. This is not a big purchase at all. So they still maintain their ability and their flexibility to make other big purchases. This should not be viewed in the vacuum of just one signing. This is something that the 49ers are trying to do to stay financially sustainable for several years down the road. McKivitt's under contract for two more seasons. 49ers now will be moving toward free agency where we'll see if they try to make some investments at guard. And then obviously the draft where a lot of people think that tackles might be coming in the pipeline just because Trent Williams is 35 and Yes, they can use an upgrade at that right tackle position in front of Brock Purdy. So carry on with your day. We'll have more 49ers updates here as free agency approaches.